this unforgiving deserted island is about to become home to a group of ordinary Brits. This time, men and women will be fighting for their lives together. Shit. You size those waves. But there's a catch. First, they must find each other. Go, go, go. I'm marooning eight men and eight women on opposite sides of a deserted island. We're in a jungle. They're being stranded alone for a month, with only the clothes on their back and a few basic tools. This you look is like Jack Sparrow. Real. As tropical storm season rages around them. It was just like when we used to get moored in Iraq. Will these two small groups be able to survive? Shit. And when they meet, will they pull together or tear each other apart? Men really f you. This is almost like a holiday, Paddy. They don't get some of my tits, they know about it. You're doing my bed in today. Right, we've got man down. Hey, 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 hey. Came out here looking for adventure. I think we've pretty much found it here. Let's get your right in there. Oh! Shit! I'm about to abandon eight men and eight women on a remote Pacific island to see if they can survive. They will be utterly alone. No one seems capable of doing anything unless they Google it, and I'm guilty of doing that. If you're stripped of everything, the only thing that's left is you as a person. I like to think I'm a strong character, so I'm putting myself to the test. I'm marooning the men and women separately, starting with the women. Neither group has any idea the other will be there. Even the hardest military training that I, I've been through will not compare to this in any way. I want to do something so extraordinary that it proves to my daughters that I have no limits. OK, ladies, this is your island, OK? This is a gnarly, dangerous part of the island. Don't mess with it. I've always played by the rules and played it very safe, and this is the first time that I'm going to prove that I don't need the rules. I'm very critical of the modern world because we take so much for granted. I think this will show what a modern woman is. We're fighters. OK, I'm going to try and get you in just round this corner. Really frightening. I'm getting the women as close to shore as I safely can. Ahead of them is a 50-metre swim, fully clothed. You're going to drop us off here? Yeah, it's terrible. Do not take it for granted. Respect the power of the current. This beach might look nice, but we're at low tide. By night time, we'll be gone. Use your energy while you're strong. Get stuck into that jungle. Life is about how we react to the hard times. Let's get you guys in. Go, go, go! That's the first group in the water. You've got to swim hard for sure now. Look after each other. Strong riptides mean the women must get to land as fast as they can. One of the first ashore is Army veteran Hannah. Just need you to pass me in my leg, please. In 2007, I was on guard duty out in Iraq, and a mortar detonated directly underneath me. Let's go! Coming back from Iraq felt like there was no way out of this horrific life that I was in. But what drove me every step of the way to fight to survive was my daughter. <laughs> Come on, mummy. <laughs> my biggest fear is that maybe my legs held me back. I don't want it to define me. I'm not the Hannah with one leg, I'm Hannah. I'm going to 
drown me. I'm Hannah. I'm an architect. <laughs> Like in Wonderland. I'm a doctor. She's the doctor. Yeah. Let's us out of here. Bye. Bye. We'll make it, girl. Always oh, such a weird feeling leaving them, and it's like I know what's ahead of them, and it's not fun. It's time for me to go get the men. I'm putting these men and these women on separately. I'm doing that for a purpose, because I want to see what happens when they start to form a community on their own, and then what they can achieve together when they meet. Right, so we've got... two machetes. I've given both groups some basic tools and only one day's supply of drinking water. You know, the jerry cans, they are really heavy. So if we get a stick through each one and two people to a jerry can... Yep. They'll be filming everything themselves, helped by two experienced camera operators living in exactly the same conditions as everyone else. We're laden. I'm, I feel as if I can hardly walk. Girls, are we near enough ready to go? How far do we think it is? When it gets dark, that's when we'll call it a day. Cassie isn't sure about moving. Can I suggest something? Is this the wisest thing to be doing? I think at the moment we've got somewhere for us to camp. But this beach yeah. is we've going had to be golden a tide We in. just need to move. This, this isn't going to be easy yet. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here if it was easy. Let's just push it and go. OK, let's see where we get to. I've done quite a bit of extreme filming um, in the past. I've been in jungles, I've been in deserts. But there is always a let-out clause that, at the end of the day, you go back to your hotel and you close the door and you're away. <laughs> Hoping to prove to myself that I can actually, you know, go the whole hog, survive in a place that isn't going to give me any co creature comforts whatsoever. Right, so let's load up. Let's, let's go. go. My girls, we all Woo! in? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be really tough, yeah, but I reckon we can make it there. This island is covered in dense jungle, which is home to potentially deadly animals and insects. But to find a safe camp, the women must head straight through it. This is fucking real. Like, we're in a fucking jungle. Shit! <gasps> iguana! Shit! A fucking iguana! Ah, oh, fuck. Can't help thinking the other way. There must be beautiful yellow beaches. Let's see. Request for a, a pause quite soon. Now I'm going to cast the men ashore. I would describe myself as an alpha male. The only way I can measure my balls is to go on the island and see if I can survive. I'm a young British Muslim. I think I've got a lot to prove because I'm not only representing myself, but I'm representing a, a community here. I don't think I'm in a midlife crisis. I just don't want to work and die and be the richest man in the graveyard. I think this is a big adventure. Just trying to find a place to get you ashore. It's rough and it's rocky. 100,000 years ago, people did just walk about on islands with nothing and have to find their own food and water. I work in an office. Can somebody normal like me survive? OK, guys, listen up. These seas are dangerous. Fucking hell. Oh, my day. Oh, wow. Shit. Wow. I'm dropping the men on the opposite side of the island to the women. Neither group knows the other is there, and they're separated by two kilometres of thick jungle. This is going to be mega tough. It's now down to you guys to define yourselves. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Good lad. OK, that looks out of it, isn't it? The men must fight against dangerously powerful undercurrents. Take our time, boys. Oh, shit. See you all right, boys? OK. Well done, mate. Come on, mate. Well done, mate. <laughs> God, that was a hellish swim, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought we were going to die out there. 
Let's just get let's get in there, like a plan and like let's crack on because time's precious, yeah. Okay, I'm Daniel or Dan, and I'm uh, the doctor. Um, I'm Elliot, and I'm a chef. My name's Simon Middleton. I work for a car insurance company. I do have massive management uh, experience. I took Tottenham Hotspurs to the treble on footy managers. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've done that twice. Where's <sighs> 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 Brad? You all right, mate? Yeah. Catching his breath out, you pal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's, let's sit down. Let's sit down for two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm into my toys, you know, I'm into my segways, my phones. On the island, I understand everything's going to be stripped down uh, from me, and, and, and that's the exciting thing about it. I think it helped me um, get closer uh, to my religion. I'm a person that can stress a lot, and that's very, very quickly as well. I'm not going to lie, I, I'll put my hands up. The main challenge for me would be to overcome that, and I'm hoping it, it does change uh my life. You all right, mate? Is yeah, it just yeah. shock of everything, or...? Yeah, I don't know, my body, inside of my body, my stomach. Right, my friend. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's feeling a bit queasy. I want to cry for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting emotional. He's probably crying. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's all right. It's all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. It's all right, mate. This sort of landing on the beach is sort of makes you realise that we're here now and we can't go. <sighs> okay. He's gonna be like that for longer. We should just stay and do what he wants to do. Yeah. We right. shouldn't be moving with that. <laughs> listen, listen. But I think we're all staying with each other. All right. <laughs> The island is a sheer cliffs. This is a shocker. I've abandoned a group of British men and a group of British women alone on two sides of a deserted island. I might go for a wee. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a wee right here. Neither group knows the other is there. Uh, oh, I just farted. <laughs> <laughs> How's your first pee in the jungle? Minging. <laughs> Wet. Okay. Mike, come on. What's that? <gasps> Did you see that? Yeah, maybe a snake. What was it? Snake okay, or something we're above. We're not getting it now, girls. Come on. Later. He said he is for fucking dinner, 100%. We know where he is. We'll be back. Farmer Erica is trying to lead the women to a safe place to camp before sundown. Shit. If they get stuck in the jungle, they'll be sleeping rough alongside the island's deadly critters. We are now going into a place where there's some fuck off thorns, OK? So keep your eyes open. I'm very own Rambo. <laughs> You've got a scarf and everything. She loves it. <laughs> Guys, I think we've just run into a problem here. It's dense. Oh, fucking hell. It's going to be dense. It's going to be dense. We're in the jungle. Positive thinking, girls. Do all right? I'm going to have to stop and do a bit of leg admin. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to take this off. Of course. The extreme humidity is causing problems for amputee Hannah's stump. It's swelling. Every minute, every hour we're in here, it's swelling. Oh. There's something causing a problem in there. It's hard, it's Basically, hard. your stump shrinks and swells, depending on what you're doing. <laughs> the girls only have enough water for one day. Girls, don't guzzle too much. Just quench it slightly. Fuck, it's so hot, it's unreal. Mm -hmm. We're all good! Oh, fine, I can, I can keep going for now. Can you give her a hand, please? No, no, I'm good, I'm fine. I'll ask for help if I need it. Is this swelling up now, darling? My, it's swelling, but we've got to keep moving. It's going to get to a point where I can't take my leg off and then I'm, the whole team stops, so we need to get going. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. After Riz broke down on the beach, the men have decided they can't move on. He's in fucking bits already, isn't he? That's meant to. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's just skyboxed everything. I don't really know what we're going to do. I think we're just going to have to spend the night here. But this beach is the wrong place to make a camp. So a lot of these beaches may look nice, a bit like a paradise, but actually some of them are a poison chalice. 
A low tide, they're okay. But a high tide, the beaches disappear. It's going to get dark very quickly. We'll get a fire going and dry our clothes. I mean, what are you feeling? Is it just kind of panic? And I was just confused, shocked, and I didn't know what to do. He needs to pull his finger out and stop fucking wallowing in self pity. Just send you further under that. Simon and Ben are exploring. That's a palm tree right there. Palm tree means fucking coconuts, mate. The ones up there, they're going to be full of fucking awesomeness. <laughs> right. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm probably the worst Robinson Crusoe that's ever set foot on a beach, but it is the biggest adventure you've ever done in your life, you know, building dens and, and going hunting and stuff. It's every kid's dream. For the last 10 years, I've just been working, I've been raising a family. This is my chance to do something amazing, so I want to grab it with both hands. We just found our first ever coconut. The only thing I don't like is... Maybe it's not for the camera. What do you like? That's my it's... coconut. I just found that. No, the first but when one. you're drinking it, it reminds me of like something else. <laughs> Tastes good though. It's slightly off point, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Girls, her legs hurt. I'm having leg dramas. Okay. Oh, I don't want to let the team down. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to stop us. Is that not the beach over there? Can you not see a beach? Erica, you're the queen of everything. If there's a beach here, if not, you're fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> you're dead to me. <laughs> right, I'm fucked. They're going downhill. Gonna need hand. Ready? All right. Oh, I've got you. I've got you. Right, I've got babe. you. Good. 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 Cheers, mate. This is a fantastic beach. Come on. Yeah! Do you want to hand down? No, I'm gonna go on my bum. I'm not proud. I need a hand just to tip this pot a bit. Hang on a sec, let me wedge that. In. Yay! <laughs> this is the fucking beach, mate! Oh my god! Never thought I'd be able to do something like this ever. <laughs> you did us so proud! <laughs> oh, you got me here in one piece! <laughs> I just can't believe I'm here. What an adventure. Yeah. Home sweet home. To say we're proud is a massive understatement. Yes. I'm buzzing. The gruelling three-hour trek has led the women to the north coast and to the island's most habitable beaches. Oh, look. So what is it, a sea almond? Oh, yeah, sea almond. It's not. Well spotted. Yay! Fucking hell. No, 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 I think my face just turned inside out. I'm going to get in trouble for not doing work. Right, guys, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Fuck me! And I would like to ask you something. No, you? I really... I'm not going to listen to anybody unless we find this sodding wood to make a fire. Since leading the women through the jungle, Erica has put the group to work gathering wood to make a fire. I'm sure people are a bit sort of fed up with my bossiness. <laughs> I'm so desperate to make this fire. Erica thinks that we palm her off as a crazy woman. Like, she is a crazy woman, but, like, she's our crazy woman. And, like, she just tells us how it is. We've got a bow. The bow's fine. Yeah. Bow. You sure? Yeah. The bow's okay. fine. It's Great. just always good to have a spare one if you're standing around doing nothing. We're a good team, we're a formidable team. But I feel like kicking ass all the time. I've got uh, a lot of experience in this kind of shit. Oh, baby. Right, let's get this fucking fire started. It's early evening now. Yes, there's fucking smoke coming off it. Everything is taking a long time because we're very hot and we're very, very tired. I'm, I feel as if I can hardly walk. It's glowing, it's glowing, girls. Oh, my God, girls. I've got a flag. Yes. Guys, we've got an ember and it's smoking. There we go. Yes! 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 Yes!
feel absolutely amazing. Fucking yes! I can breathe now. <sighs> Erica, it's safe to say I don't think we would have done that without Thank your you. very Thank important you. input. First time. Have some of that beer. The rising tide is now forcing the men off the beach. With sundown fast approaching, they need to move, despite Riz's fragile state. So I, don't, I don't think we've got that much time. I really think we should just roll on, man. So the plan of attack is we're going to hot foot each. It's going to be a bit of a march on, yeah? People need to have a rest, that's fine. We'll have a rest, yeah? Yeah, I know, but Riz is already finding it hard. We can't really afford to be carrying any passengers. This is time people need to kick on and, and, and we need to make a bit of a difference. Yeah, let's just fucking do it. Let's do it, yeah? With the tide coming in, the only escape is up the 50 metre high near vertical cliffs. Fuck me, man. This is hard. Okay, good. You all right, Riz? I'm going to take it slow. It's going to be hard for me. It's hellish. Okay. Loose ground and the steep gradient are a dangerous combination. One full step could mean serious injury. It is steep, it's seriously hot and seriously humid. That has absolutely killed me, that. Fucking fall off here, definitely brown bread. Careful, careful, careful. Anyone? Anyone out there watching this now thinking, you know what, it's fucking easy. I tell you what, put your name down, pal. Put your name down. We just need everyone up now and we need to crack up. Take your time, mate. Oh, yeah, I'm doing that five minutes now. I'm doing that as well, I'll pal. I'll start again. My heart is pounding really fast. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think he's worked this fast before. He might just have a heart attack or something. We need to fucking do whatever we're doing now. We just need to do something. Because we're just killing time here. The sun's setting, guys. Yeah, so, what are we thinking? Is I think we're going to fucking die in here. Hey, I'm not lugging that gear anywhere else. <laughs> By the time all the men have reached the top, it's too late to go any further. They face their first night on the jungle floor with no fire for protection. Right now, we're just sort of in shambles. Are we getting more leaves on this? Or are we just lying down now? A white spider about this size fell down my neck. They're hiding in the trees. They just fall down on your feet. Oh, God, that was a bat. Oh, my God, the size of that thing. God. It's fucking dark here. And I don't know how I'm going to sleep. Uh, what's this here? Is that a spider web? Uh, no, it's just a branch, mate. It's just a branch. What was that? Uh, Is that wolves? Sounds yeah, like wolves, wolves, doesn't it? Shit. I left my three-year-old child and I deployed to Iraq. And when I came back, my child had a disabled mum who was in a wheelchair for three years. I had to fucking survive for my daughter. All right, then, and that's you how it is, and that's how it is here. Then. When life gives you lemons, what the fuck are you going to do? I'm not going to curl them born and give up. Yeah. Where are the knickers? Where are the knickers? The Victoria's Secret. You love Victoria's Secret. I love Victoria's Secret. Has anyone seen my bra by any chance? After the success of the day, the women are turning in. I'm going to try and get four drinks. If we don't get sleep, we're going to be about to use as a sack of shit tomorrow. We help if someone put the fucking air con on. <laughs> it's 1 a.m. I've got to get away. And now I just desperately get off here. Oh, yes. This is so nasty. Camera woman Cassie has woken the camp in a sudden panic. I can't do it. There's God, no way. You, I'm so far from being on this. Look at me. When you got off the boat, did you think for one fucking minute you would have a fire? You would have got a bed made up, you know? Look, look, look. look. I always think I can't do things, but you can do this. You, you can really do this. Okay. People need sleep. <laughs> I don't think we're going to sleep tonight. 
With the exception of Riz, the men have had a rough first night on the jungle floor. Did you sleep at all, Fabi? Not really. Uh, yeah, I, might have I didn't think I wouldn't be able to sleep in the jungle because someone was snoring. I thought it'd be like a snake or a rat. Yeah. There's someone snoring next to me. I didn't predict that. How do you sleep, Riz? You know what? I slept pretty all right, you know. I got on a horrendous night's sleep. Yeah. But Riz got on a good night's sleep, that's the main thing. Yeah, he's going to be taking all the bags. Two machetes, windmilling fruit jungle, <laughs> nice in tea. Right, are we ready then? Yeah. Come on, lads. Let's do it. Having failed to make progress yesterday after Riz's breakdown, the men desperately need to find a good beach to camp on. Uh, but they're being forced to march without water, as have all but finished what I gave them. Are we going to find the water source? The biggest part is not knowing where we're going. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. We could really do a Google Maps right now. Really do a Google Maps. Wakey, wakey. This is our makeshift camp. Excuse the mess. Unlike the men, the women have already established their base. Right, so this is our fire. This is our walk-in wardrobes, where we just hang all our Chanel clothes. This is where the magic happens. This is our makeshift bed. Now get the hell out of my house. Unfortunately, one of the women can't cope with their new home. Cassie, how are you feeling? Um, absolutely terrible. I'm never going to be up to this. After her panic attack last night, Cassie wants to leave the island immediately. I just think you're completely shell-shocked at the fact that we've arrived on this island and actually there is nothing. This is tough on all of us. I feel incredibly unable to do the job I'm here to do. On Vance, I'm much better to go. I hope they take me away. It's difficult because we're such a small team, and even if that pair of hands isn't as effective, it's still another pair of hands. Hi, this is Cassie. I'm afraid I've been that to Shocked to the gills. She's a little tiny bit older than me. Definitely not about age, because actually, you got us here. You're one of the most capable out of all of us, so it's definitely not the case. I'll have to replace Cassie, as she's part of the camera crew. But for now, I've no choice but to send in my safety team. She just sat there and done nothing, but didn't try to do anything. If that was me, I'd still be trying, trying, trying. Fucking lazy <laughs> Good, see you later. Goodbye, you're not good to us. You oh, fucking signed to up to do it, you dickhead. It's just hard to understand why somebody would be so determined to leave after two days. And if I can do it with one leg, then she could have done it. It's a completely uncompromising, terrifying environment. And I just wasn't up to that pressure. I just wasn't. So what's our priorities? Water. The remaining women must now get back to the urgent business of survival. Their jerry cans are almost empty. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck, girl. Hey, good See you luck. later. We're going to try and find a bloody water source because we're bloody thirsty. Look how fast we're getting through firewood. Oh. Oh, something just bit me in the woods. I picked up a pile of wood. Oh. Oh, I know it's like a drill in my arm. I know. What was it? Oh, I don't know. It's swelling up. Look. Oh. That's not mosquito bite to come up that quick, is it? No. Oh. Go sit down. Go sit down. It, how, what's it oh, like? it just fucking hurt. Oh. Shit. Wait, oh, that's a scorpion. Oh. This species of scorpion can't kill, but its sting causes overwhelming pain, lasting up to eight hours. I'm good with pain. Right, I'm really good with pain, but fucking hell. I will never make this mistake again. <laughs> I didn't think to look. 
You always Dink. forget. Oh. It's a beast. The island is a beast. Ah. Shit. Ants. Yeah. It was going for your nipple, I think. Going for your nipple. You're going for Kinky. the milkers. <laughs> Kinky bastard ass. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fox. It's killing me. The men are desperately searching for a beach to make a base, but with no water, they're getting seriously dehydrated. I could do with a bottle of ice-cold water. Oh, my God. With no water, we're pretty damn poor. It's not nice in jungle, is there? How has not lived in here is beyond me. Listen, listen. It's the waves. There it is. I can see the sea. Come on. It's the sea. It's a beach. Show, yeah. It's a beach. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh, we did it. To make a base, the men need a beach that won't get flooded. I'm so pleased to be out in the jungle. Yeah. But I'm also thinking... This, this is not the beach. This is what? <laughs> this is a tidal beach. Is this the beach we wanted? No. No. I think so, no. We do not want to be making another fucking trek. It's gonna kill me, man. The men have reached the east coast of the island. They don't know it, but the women's camp is just one kilometre to the north. This beach isn't right for a long-term base, but it's thrown the men an unexpected lifeline. A freshwater stream runs into it. Chris, what's your thought? Just having a wee. <laughs> You're not? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were having a wee. <laughs> Living the dream. Can't believe it. We found water. Wow. Oh. And we just sat there and we just called ourselves off and it was the nicest feeling in the world. And I swear it's the closest I've come to ejaculating. Here he is, Jenny. <laughs> the men go, desperately need to rehydrate, but they can't drink this water without fire. It needs boiling to purify it. This is really, really important, isn't it, lads? It's all proving too much for Riz. Half an hour into it, I'm thinking, what the fuck? Honestly, I'm hating it. That's normal. I don't want to do it. That's a week ago, you were in Bradford, man. Huh? It's completely different. You're completely out of your comfort zone. No food, no water, jungle. Now, I actually feel sorry for him. I'm not really sympathetic. Get involved, get stuck in. What I'm mad about is somebody else might let a fire. Do you know what I mean? You've got to work at things. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, there's loads of it. Dr Alice has just discovered a huge lagoon. Alice is just going to taste it to see if it's salty or not, because if not, we, need to, we can stop looking for water, because <laughs> this is not running out. Um, the water's a little bit salty, very eggy. I think, I think we can probably drink this. If water tastes salty, it is madness to drink it. Salt only dehydrates you further, but what's worse, this lagoon is completely stagnant and may contain toxins that even boiling won't remove. I mean, it tastes really eggy. It's salty, but, I mean, it's a little bit of salt. It's got it's a tiny salty. bit of salt, but it's not seawater, is no, it? No, it's not seawater. Guys, we found water! I'm so proud of these girls. First day we got fire, second day water. Yeah, it's fantastic. Still looks like shit, but we boil it, we drink it. Let's have fine. a look. Yeah! It's really disgustingly yellow. 
With Dr. Alice away finding water, Hannah had to call my safety team onto the island to treat her scorpion bite. But it will take time for her to recover fully. This is fucking hurting me. I can't believe that. It's the worst pain I've ever experienced. I'd rather really? give birth to about 10, ten more children. No really. way. Honestly, it's going be fit. Scorpion one, Hannah nil. Shall we put that one down, please? As they prepare their undrinkable water... How long does it take to boil it? I'm not sure. Its colour reminds the women of something else. Everyone's teeth is pissed, haven't they? I have. No, neither have I. I don't get that. Like, why would you want to piss on someone's mouth? Like, well, I used to sleep with someone that always used to want to piss on me. What? He wanted to be on you? Yeah, he always wanted to piss on me. No. And I was like, what? Why? Well, I don't know. Way it's way quite degrading, though. And I was like, no, you fucking can't. That is fucking well out of order, mm. I think. <laughs> Honestly, I would be furious. Yeah. Just like, why? <laughs> Some people have got weird, weird preferences, they have. isn't it? What about you, Charles? What's your preferences? Old oh, men. <laughs> like Alan Sugar. Alan Sugar! Alan oh, Alan no way. No, I love Alan Sugar. This complete waste of energy. Let's do this. Complete waste of fucking energy. My fucking head's banging. To... I seriously need a drink, lads. The men are now in deep trouble. They've been unable to make fire and won't last much longer without water. If we don't make fire today, we're fucked. It's stressing me out now. For every man and woman on the island, this is probably the biggest challenge of their lives. And I know that each of them is capable of doing it physically. What I don't know is which of them are capable of doing it mentally. And that's the big one. We're giving up. We can't give up on fire. I don't want to quit. I don't want to let the team down. This isn't going that well, is it? Do you need me? Mate, well, we need all the help we can get at the moment, don't we? <laughs> Just get stuck in with fire now, mate. Let me see if I can do some of my magic. For about an hour left of daylight. Don't go any faster yet. There's something not right there. Get all that just... There is no ember. Ah. Keep it, keep it same, same, same speed, same speed. On, on the edge, mate. I'm on the edge. After ten hours of failure, most of the men are tiring. Boys, should we crack on with this? Yeah. Riz is now leading the desperate drive for fire. Same tempo. Don't go any faster yet. Just keep it, keep it same, same speed, same speed. Don't go faster, Patrick. Yeah, don't go faster, just keep it same speed. Mate, that is glowing. I can see that in here. Let it light up, let it light up. Hand span length, hand span length. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, give it away. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Come on! Yeah! Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I think this is Bart's together as a team now. Definitely. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well done, Liz. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Who would have thought you'd be so excited over the fire? That's it's it. It's all changed. It's a different ball game now, isn't it? Yeah, the, the... I'm excited now. Are we having one each, Alice? Yeah. Barmaid Tilly is serving up the first round of water from a stagnant lagoon. Cheers. <coughs> but this water has the potential to make the whole camp sick, and drinking it could have dire consequences. I'm just topping this up. Oh, don't top it up. Just so that you get the no, remaining no, no, salt. No, no, no. Erica, it's That's important. Not... We've got two jerry cans of jungle juice, we're calling it. It's disgusting, but we're drinking it. Well, I'm afraid to say there's going to be no mouth swilling with our water, no. is there? It's going to be straight down the hatch. <laughs> is it being sick? You're right. <sighs> Last night, Erica and the rest of the women drank stagnant water from a lagoon. The water's making some of them ill, but no one's realised the root of the sickness. Are you drinking too? I've had two glasses today. It just needs to drink more, even Sorry, if it I'm tastes spitting. disgusting. Hannah's orders: drink water, sit and shine, chill out. Okay. Woke up today feeling a bit sick. I'm finding it difficult to even drink water, but 
I know I just have to keep drinking it. This water is disgusting. So basically, everyone's had a really terrible day. Um, Eric is struggling. She's been being sick. It just makes me realise how vulnerable we are. <laughs> This beach does not want human beings on it. After stopping on a tidal beach... Oh, watch it. <laughs> Whoa. ..the men are now in retreat from the sea again. We're going to get washed out, aren't we? It's vital they find somewhere safer to set up their camp. We need to get going, really. It's a group common sense that says they want to get on it and go. We're going to knock this camp down now. Get dressed for the uh, little stroll in the jungle. You're not going in them pants? Yeah, I am going in these, actually. Crushed Those and some knee-high boots is yeah. what he's wearing in the jungle. The pink yeah. latex. <laughs> yeah. I told him not to bring them, but he has. Don't, don't you know what it might be underneath this one? Yeah. The men aren't sure where to explore next, and Riz isn't looking forward to another trek. How'd you sleep, man? A bit shit. You didn't sleep at all? People just keep waking me up now, don't they? Cos apparently I snore. Riz's persistent snoring was too much for the other men. I've just kept, like, shaking me. I did see Paddy. Oh, I just saw his hand go... <laughs> <laughs> it's every single day. We can get on up in the morning and just fucking going on a trek. I'm tired, I just want to go back to sleep. Oh, it's going to be hard for me to get on there. Be the ample as always. We've got to push yourself. That's a part of the challenge, well, isn't it, Sai? Yeah. We asked for it. We wanted it. Holy shit. Is that a cyclone? I See, think that does actually look like it, doesn't it? Oh, man. A tropical storm is heading straight for the island. God, the sea is fucking insane. Let's go. There's a big one coming in. Big one. Here it comes. So storm season in the tropics is harsh and it's unpredictable. The weather can change in an instant, but to survive, you've just got to battle through it. Oh, shit. Fucking hell, fucking hell. Living the dream. Fucking hell, this water, man. I'm going for my first piss on the island. Get on, Ben. Boy, he's a jolly good fellow. Oh, yes. For some, the storm has brought welcome relief. It's so brown. Oh, my God. <laughs> it burns when it comes out. That is not a good sign. I'm going to say Ben's piss was basically one shade down from black. What do we all think about staying here today or moving on? That is a big decision in the rain. I vote we uh, make a move and I vote we move quickly. Boys, I think the sensible thing to do is to stay. What you're doing fire. is going to one destination to another destination. We've left more or less everything here. Set up. We're, we haven't got all set up here. Yeah, we've got fucking all. Set up. We've got more than enough fucking fire. Look at that. If we would actually go right now. I'd like to go today. I'd go. I'd go. Yeah, 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 i uh, we can get ourselves covered. Lads, come on. We can't hide that fire in, 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 in these conditions. Yeah. This shit here, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> While we've still got some strength, right, and feel like feel like moving. It's what? about making the right choice. It's not, yeah. about, it's not that we want to move or we don't want to move. I don't, I don't think the right choice is by sitting here. I didn't come out here just to fucking exist. Came out here to survive, to do stuff, not think, oh, don't leak fire, I better just stay here, why is there any water? I didn't come here to do that. I'm, I'm, just cause I'm, I didn't do just that. Just because it's not your way, everyone, everyone can do it. Don't let him wind you up. You're gonna blame you, mate, because I'll stop you so I'm gonna blame you. Well, Riz, Riz, Riz. I'm not bothered. Everyone can do whatever they want. I've got my opinion, just as everyone else has got their opinion. You're getting in a strop on your face. I'm not getting in a strop on your Do whatever you want. I'm not bothered. It just goes to show how volatile this environment can make you. The smallest thing, and you can just lose your nut. Another day in camp shit, yeah. doing fuck all while everyone sits on their hands. It's the stress. The yeah. Tempo spray. Day three, and the camp's breaking up. Yeah. I don't know if they're cracks. Maybe there are cracks. Maybe you'll just find, like, seven dead bodies floating in the sea at some point. It's 
So it seems Simon has gone missing. Hey, Chris, seen Si anywhere? No. Sorry about that, pal. Unhappy at being stuck in camp, Simon has disappeared. You know, this, this is quite treacherous ground. Anything could have happened. Just one kilometre to the north, some of the women are still ill. Hannah and Erica are trying to look for food. I feel bad. I'm sorry, Anna. You feel ill? <laughs> Today is a struggle. I don't normally feel sick, and this no. is pissing me off. Oh, shit, look. Oh, look. Oh, my God! Jesus Christ. Hello? Help! Where's he gone? Hello? Next time on the island. What the fuck? They're definitely girls. Simon got my bra off. You've got a toy. You want to talk? Put your hand up and then you can talk, yeah? Fucking men, really, to fuck you. Oh, shit. I don't think I've ever heard thunder like it. And it just kicked off my post-traumatic stress. This feels like my old lady. Oh, no. Oh, no.